the aspiration that they have is, can I get a postgraduate education? When I showed you 50,000 students, and I'm telling you, graduate each year, and we have only 26,000 PG seats, let's say, and what would be the backlog, and how many people can get a postgraduate seat, and how many people can get into a super specialty seat. Let's say if the medical specialty, it's about 3,000 or 500 medical postgraduate seats that you have. You've got a family medicine. What is family medicine? Yes, most preferred or less preferred than internal medicine. But family medicine, you've got a full stop. You can go into super specialties in, with, the MBB, with the MD. You can go into any of the super specialties. And why do you people want to get into the super specialties? Well, there is money, there is glamour. There, I want to serve more. I want to serve better. I want to have a better skill set. Whatever be the reason, we don't want to get into that. But all that I want to summarize by all that I want to say in summary is that we don't have that many postgraduate seats and that available in the country to supply it to all the graduates that we have. Next slide, please. Now, having said this, having said this, why do we need such postgraduates? Well, septicemia and com uh, complications from devices, implants, grafts, acute myocardial and cannot be managed by an ordinary MPPS person. And you need special skills for it and special knowledge and experience by, by learning a more complex kind of um, medical, um, uh, let's say, the drugs that you use, the combination drug. So you need to have super specialists, no, no doubt about it. Next slide, please. Then you will find, uh, you will find now you've got a lot of immunocompromising conditions. You need super specialists for that, not with your MBBS knowledge, not with your MD knowledge, but you need to have a high, high grade knowledge in order to handle such patients. Next slide, please. Having said this, having said this, what is the difference between a physician and a specialist? Please understand this. This morning I was speaking to the radiologist saying, sir, you cannot make a histological diagnosis. You can make a diagnosis saying that the anatomy is altered, the contour is altered, maybe the shape is altered, perhaps the texture of the tissue is altered. And you can say it's a group of lymph nodes. It is not fatty tissue. It's not. It doesn't seem to be a dermoid cyst or something in the in the in the in the in the, in the uh, mediastinum. You can say to some extent, but you cannot confirm. You cannot say this is tuberculosis. Please, never. Are you seeing the organism circulate? No. You are only seeing the. Uh, maybe you're seeing a fibrosis. You're seeing a strand, or you're seeing some interstitial edema and things like that. That's all you can say. Cardiologists, they understand cardiac function better than us. They understand why this patient is getting a tachycardia, what caused the tachycardia, but they have to also act with precision. In other words, you can't just make a diagnosis of hypertensive heart disease causing the tachycardia, but you have to explain. They understand myocytes well. Nephrologists understand the glomerulus very well. They don't understand dialysis technology and transplant. Neurologists really understand the EEG, the EMG, perhaps the structure of the brain when they do a CT scan. A gastroenterologist is a discipline, visual discipline, I would call it. They can get to see the, your insides. A rheumatologist, they can do ultrasound of the joint and tell you whether synovium is thickened or not, or whether there is fluid or not. Ontohematologist, bone marrow transplant would tell you whether this person can be cured of leukemia can be, there are several leukemias that can be cured. Say, for example, chronic myeloid leukemia, that they can do it. Now, you can look at the markers and eliminate the markers. General, general medicine specialists would know about it, but would not take the challenge of trying to treat a patient with leukemia. Pulmonologists do endoscopy. In fact, this is my specialty. They know, they know more about microbiology and antibiotics.